everyone this is vivi so welcome back to our channel the nightingale tales so before starting the video as usual i would always like to say please subscribe our channel the nightingale tales guys we are putting much greater efforts to provide you these videos so at least give a like and share our videos with your friends whom you think this video would be useful for so let's get started don't forget to share our videos with your friends with your fellow nurses with your students with your teachers everyone who will like this video or subscribe to our channel so uh, today i have made video on covid 19 so that this would be useful for you uh, on giving you some important information regarding corona virus so let's get started first question which of the following virus cause causes the disease covid 19 a nifa b sars c mers c sars cov2 so everyone should know that corona virus covid 19 disease is caused by sars covid 9 and you should know this abbreviation what would be this abbreviation let's see the answer it is sars cov2 sars is severe acute respiratory syndrome co stands for corona v stands for virus and 2 is this is the second type of virus that's been affecting people with this corona or covid 19 so remember once again guys uh, the abbreviation what i'm going to say is sars cov 2 stands for severe acute respiratory syndrome co stands for corona v stands for virus and 2 stands for the second strain of the virus which is been currently affecting people with covid 19 so and 19 is given because the virus strain has been identified in the year 2019 so that is the reason it is named after covid 19 because the strain has been found in 2019 not in 2020 or not in 2021 so hence it is called corona or covid co stands for corona v stands for vi vi stands for virus and d for disease covid 19 and the virus strain has been found in year 2019 so the name is covid 19 and same goes for here sars severe acute respiratory syndrome sars stands for severe acute respiratory syndrome co stands for corona v stands for virus and two stands for second strain of virus so sars cov2 stands for severe acute respiratory syndrome co stands for corona v stands for virus and it is the second strain in sars so it is named after sars cov2 now everyone would have been get gotten some idea why this name sars cov2 is given for the newly identified strain of corona so let's get started the next question second question the outbreak of novel corona virus that is disease covid 19 was initially reported from i think everyone will be ready to answer this question so let's uh, let's see the options option a madrid city spain b wuhan city china c rome italy d new york usa so these are the four options i think everyone uh, i have everyone will answer this question no doubt so it is b wuhan city china the china is the first country uh, that's been officially have been reporting cases from its own country i mean the first cases so answer is the wuhan city that is china that's still the country where this with the pandemic has been started on so the third question the outbreak of covid 19 so remember guys what what stands for covid 19 the abbreviation of covid 19 is corona virus disease 
2019. So the outbreak of COVID-19 was declared as a public health emergency of international concern by WHO on. So um, after after the outbreak of this COVID-19, there are numerous numerous cases been reporting from months. That is on 2019 from December, there has been many cases, but uh, it was not considered as a pandemic directly by the WHO or World Health Organization. So initially it was been named after just as a public health emergency of international concern. Means it is a disease where everyone, I mean internationally should be, uh, should be taken care of or should be put an end to. So initially it was not declared as a pandemic. So when it was declared to be a public health emergency of international concern by WHO is, these are the four options. A, 31st December 2019, 30th January 2020, C, 11th March 2020, D, 19th March 2020. So answer is, it is 30th January 2020 because by December 2019, no one, uh, the cases have been reporting only in China. So it was not considered as a pandemic or an international emergency. But by the end of January, so the cases have been reported in other countries too. So WHO has been declared that COVID-19 disease is an international emergency that should be put an end to. So the answer is... 30th January 2020 until 30th January 2020 it was just considered to be a, a viral disease spreading in China but by the end of the January so the cases have been reporting in other countries so the WHO or World Health Organization declared it as an international health emergency public health emergency so remember the date guys it will be of some use for you it might come in SSCL recruitment question paper 2. So next question. Fourth question. WHO World Health Organization declared COVID-19 as global pandemic on. So this is the main question. So initially COVID-19 was not as I said earlier initially COVID-19 was not declared to be a pandemic. It is declared just to be as a public health emergency which needs an international concern that's all so after months it has been declared as pandemic so when is that date that the corona or covid-19 is declared to be a pandemic so here are the options option a december 31st 2019 30th january 2020 11th march 2020 and 19th march 2020 so of course it is in march the World Health Organization has declared COVID-19 as pandemic in the month of March. But uh, you people need to be sure whether it is 11th March 2020 or 19th March 2020. So it is 11th March 2020. As you can see 11th March 2020. This is the date on which WHO has declared COVID-19 to be a pandemic. And asked every nation in the country to impose themselves with self-lockdown and quarantine so remember the date guys it will be an important question for your preparation and it would be of great use if you remember this so next question number five coronavirus is a so a enveloped rna virus b enveloped dna virus c non-enveloped dna virus and d single standard dna virus so this is an easy question of course this is an easy question it is an enveloped rna virus because corona is not a dna virus everyone who will be reading books about corona or covid 19 would get to know this because corona is not a dna virus it is a rna virus so you can blindly put an option or choose an option just like that if it is having some rna and rest of all dna so you can see here in the question, the rest of all options are DNA, but only option A is RNA. 
so you can blindly put and choose an option like it is RNA virus so I'm choosing option A enveloped RNA virus so yeah. there goes next question option 6 which of the following diseases are related to coronavirus a severe acute respiratory syndrome that is SARS B Middle East respiratory syndrome that is MERS MERS C both A and B D none of the above so coronavirus is not a new virus strain to world it is already been broke into endemics or epidemics in some of the Middle East countries or uh, European countries so option is C both A and B because both SARS and MERS are related to coronavirus in some way so here is the answer it is both A and B next Question number 7. Mode of transmission of COVID-19 is A. Direct contact B. Respiratory droplets C. Fomites D. All of the above Yes, COVID coronavirus gets transmitted easily by direct contact. If the person who is suffering from corona or COVID-19 if he comes contact directly with you then you obviously get affected with that, the, with that same disease. Next, respiratory droplets. If the infected droplets have been inhaled by a healthy client or a healthy person then he will get infected with this virus next fomites fomites are the highly touched surfaces or furniture or metals or the infected clothing material of a infected person if you come in contact with this fomites that is highly highly frequently touching surfaces or infected clothes or furniture then you get infected with this COVID-19 D is all of the above so answer is obviously D it is all of the above everything that that is direct contact or is infected ref respiratory droplets or the formats of the infected person can give you this infection next option sorry question number eight the following people at lower lowest risk of developing complication due to COVID-19 is so patient aged more than 60 B under 5 children C patient with comorbidities D patient with immunosuppression so A B C D so every age group people mentioned in these four options are at risk of developing complications due to coronavirus or COVID-19 yes but the question is who are the people or who are the age group people that has the lowest risk so understand the question who everyone is here at risk of developing complications due to COVID-19 but who are the people or who are the age group of of age group people who, who are having less chances for developing complications due to COVID-19 so answer is under five children so patient who is aged more than 60 is has highest risk of developing complications same goes for option C patient with comorbidities that is having some CADs corona artery diseases or BP or high sugar or diabetes hypertension or any comorbidity also having the greater risk of developing complications due to COVID-19 so patient with immunosuppression so the already the patient is having immunosuppression so the coronavirus gets affected easily the person will get affected very easily and he has a greater risk of developing complications due to COVID-19 so the only answer the only option remaining is under 5 children so here the condition is the under 5 age group children also have the risk of developing complications due to COVID-19 but these people or these age group people that is under 5 children have the least risk of developing complications due to COVID-19 so ninth question which of the following signs or symptoms is most commonly reported among COVID-19 infected patients so A fever B sore throat C weakness D running nose so if you say a COVID-19 patient so these four will be the symptoms fever sore throat weakness and the running nose 
these are all the four symptoms reported in every patient or most of the patients but the the question is most commonly reported you should say the most commonly reported symptom of a covid 19 patient so fever is the most commonly reported symptom or clinical manifestation among covid 19 patients so answer is a fever it is the most common symptom among covid 19 patients next option question number 10 the common symptoms of covid 19 are similar to a scabies b influenza c asthma d cholera so scabies is a not a respiratory condition so you can say that covid 19 is a respiratory condition so the symptoms will be of a respiratory condition like ha having some cough or fever or flu or headache fever sore throat running nose these are the symptoms common symptoms for a patient who are dealing with the respiratory diseases so scabies is not a respiratory disease you can eliminate this option um, cholera is not also is not a respiratory disease so you can eliminate that option too so remaining two are b influenza c asthma so influenza is a flu so it is much it is more related to corona rather than asthma so answer is b influenza so influenza is is that one disease which has similar symptoms to covid 19 because they are the viruses they are the though they are different strains of viruses they are they affect the same condition that is they affect the same system that is respiratory system and have sim, uh, and produces similar symptoms but they are not same you should remember this so this is the end of the video guys please share our videos with your friends and students your teachers your fellow nurses so that we'll get some encouragement to do more videos and publish more videos so have a great day guys Thank you.